I just want to I want to get people prepared for this. Defend this wrestler. Defend this wrestler. Let me explain to you what defend this wrestler is. John, this is his segment altogether. This man came up with this. And I think this is a segment you all going to love. This is where John picks somebody in the WWE or in wrestling world today. And he talks about them like, you know, they trash. Like, I'm sorry. It is what it is. Not everybody is the greats. Some people who are not good or they don't have good storylines, their character is whack. He will point it out and then he will give every reason why that person is trash right now. But then I'm supposed to defend that person. So let me pass this on to John. Go ahead and uh, give us uh, the rundown on this segment this week. So this week's victim Mm. is a wrestler that's pretty much, you know, he might get some undeserved attention. But you know Mm. what? I don't care. Mm. We're talking about Baron Corbin. And I think that he's really a victim of just being in a bad situation. Mm. Because I do like how he changed his image and shaved that head and went bald and had something going on. Mm. But every time I see this man, all he ever does is take L's. Mm. It seems like all he can beat is on little kids and old men, Mm. AKA anybody who comes up from NXT and Kurt Angle. This man is a tragedy ongoing. How do you lose the money in the bank? How do you lose at being at the king of the ring? Like, bro, there is no good qualities to you. You don't even make people look good when they're trying to beat up on you or when you're trying to lick way in some damage to make us think you're worth something. Mm-hmm. No. And it makes me wonder, like, man, they got Dolph Ziggler upstairs mm-hmm. right now that they could call in and do his job three times better. Why do we keep giving this man a paycheck? Mm. Oh, right. Vince likes him. I don't understand what people see him. His whole move set is forgettable. Ain't nothing spectacular about him. Every time I see him wrestle, I'm like, oh, was that it? Dang. I didn't forgot what he did. Mm. It's like an ongoing tragedy, man. And I want to see, I want to hear Baron Corbin's fans. I want to know what these people have to say about it. I want to see what they, what is the beauty of this dude? Because man, I see nothing but ugly in and out the ring man mm-hmm. and i need you to defend this man show me the light of baron corbin show me the positive now let me say this um baron corbin fans out there whoever you guys are you can go ahead and let us know your thoughts you can defend this man as well you can try to defend him at least now this is my job to try to defend baron corbin today um here's here's the first thing i gotta say before i start defending him have you seen baron corbin's gimmick these days john isn't he if i last time i checked he is still rocking these this like it's not a wrestler gimmick he's still walking you know the button up in the slacks yeah but now his gimmick he's still rocking that for sure his gimmick is based around him not having any money like he's he's having financial hardships he goes on the show each week and he's talking about like i need money basically the man's broke they gave him a broke down gimmick where he's he looks like he's just struggling like he's uh like his shirt his clothes is all dirty his shirt is always unbuttoned he's always asking for some financial support like they gave him they gave him a terrible gimmick that it just makes it even worse right now that if you seen this man right now and how he comes out there looking like he's broke down like he didn't got hit with too many hard times hard times hard times like he didn't got hit with hard times so ah, baron corbin now here's my thing let me say this the man okay i'm supposed to defend him but let before i defend this man let me just say this too vince mcmahon or whoever the writers is, but Vince McMahon obviously has co-sign on this. He allowed this man to retire Kurt Angle. Mm -hmm. He allowed Baron Corbin to retire Kurt Angle. Now, let me say this. In, in, In his support, he's, that's supposed to build up Baron Corbin. But now, from beating Kurt Angle, Baron Corbin has went on to ask him for money with his, with his new promos with his new character, with his new gimmick. Somebody need to change that gimmick, please. Now, to defend Baron Corbin, I'm not sure if he came up with this storyline. I'm not sure if he came up with this character. 
um a lot of times a lot of people don't like the writing with the wwe nowadays come on now i can go down a list cm punk we just mentioned him one of the reasons why he left the wwe he didn't like what the writing was going on dean ambrose another one who was on aew now he didn't like what the writing was that how the writing was being portrayed in wwe how the storylines portrayed around his character baron corbin could be going through that as well roman reigns roman reigns the best storyteller in the wwe today for me um at one point in time people were feeling like he was just being forced down uh forced for us to like love him to cheer for him then now he seems like he's loved what he's doing as a heel baron corbin could be going through that same thing Baron Corbin as a wrestler, he has had some good matches. Baron Corbin has done his job. He has done his job as a as a wrestler. Um he cut the hair. I'm glad he cut the hair cuz at one point in time that just it, it wasn't coming across. But I ain't going to lie. That was better days for Baron Corbin when he was in NXT as a wrestler, as a character like it seemed like it was just it was coming across a lot better than what has been coming across lately. So for me to defend Baron Corbin this week, my full answer for you guys is I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> now I say all those things to let y'all know I can't defend this man this week. Um, it's, I'm sorry. I don't know. He's not a terrible wrestler. He's not a bad wrestler. Like he can he can wrestle. He's not a bad wrestler. I don't feel like he's unsafe with wrestlers in there. I feel like he can be a part of some decent good matches um i just don't i don't know what i don't know his care i don't know what would be a good character for baron corbin i have no idea what would be a good character for him like shoot man you know what they would have done with baron corbin no it yes i know it's gonna lean into our next comment i would have made him like pretty much the 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 mouthpiece of like either kind of like John Laurinaitis was back in a couple of years ago, but like of the of the of the shareholders, or if not Vince McMahon or Triple H, like he comes down, it's like, hey man, I'm technically in control, but I'm really just here to be the messenger, right? Mm -hmm. At the same time, though, I am the guy. I am the guy that's like you know in charge of things. That's what I would have done with Baron Corbin. They could have also took the JBL route. They could have like made him become like this dominant champion because he always cheats or he has like a, a team around him that helps him always win they could go to jbo route where not necessarily that he's rich or anything like that but he's just he's someone that always finds a way to win because he always got a posse around him that helps him cheat to get to get over to get the victory they could have went that route maybe like the jbo route i'm kind of like that and in, in a sense um but i don't i don't i don't know it's tough now because i've seen so many bad moments now that i don't know if they can switch this around now like it didn't got bare, it's pretty bad like i ain't never seen a gimmick where someone is like portrayed as being like like well, I guess I have. I seen Shawn Michaels at one point in time. He, they went through that gimmick too, where Don't he was like MVP. He where he went on like a twenty-four week losing streak and still came out on top. Mm. So I mean, I guess that like financial hardship. I remember Shawn Michaels had a storyline with that actually with JBL. So I guess it has happened, but it just I feel like it's it was terrible timing for Baron Corbin because Shawn Michaels could go through that where he has that type of gimmick because it's Shawn Michaels like it's like come on now can Shawn Michaels do wrong now at that point when he had that gimmick Baron Corbin hasn't had a real real like cemented successful gimmick where we can stand on and be like oh he can take this bad gimmick he could take this and still make it work nah Baron Corbin he, didn't need this he didn't need to go from king involved. of the ring That's yeah the issue. exactly he can go from being king of the rain to being broke now. Like, how did this happen? How did they, how, WWE, how did y'all let this happen to Baron Corbin? And now Baron Corbin is on Defend This Wrestler, and I can't defend him. Come on now, fans. Like, where the, where the Baron Corbin fans at? Let me know where y'all at on this. Tell me how y'all feel about Baron Corbin. Uh, John, you got anything else you want to say about Baron Corbin? Hey, man, if you ever lose your job, I think TNA is hiring, bro. I think you'd be a better fit there. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I'm just saying, because at least he can reinvent himself down in TNA, mm -hmm. and then on top of that, 
it's like I f- it, to me he looks like a TNA wrestler yeah. pretty much yeah. I think he'd be a perfect fit down there WWE take the JBL route try or and make it kind of new make it kind of new do some justice by Baron Corbin especially in the fact that y'all had him beat Kurt Angle Y'all had him beat Kurt Angle. Y'all got to do something right with him. Don't just let him go. And then now our lasting memory of Kurt Angle was his last match with Baron Corbin, a, a guy y'all just end up releasing. Like, do something with Baron Corbin. Do something with that. Like, he beat Kurt Angle. Come on now. Like, we wanted to see at least Kurt Angle versus John Cena or something in his last match. Give us something. Do right by Baron Corbin. Now, before we...